Hey everybody, this is Captain Kyle and I'm here with another costume jacket review. This time it is the jacket of Bucky Barnes from the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Full disclosure, this is from BossJackets.com. They provided it to me free of charge for the purposes of this review. And I'm gonna go through it with a fine tooth comb. Now what's interesting, this is one of many jackets that Bucky wore in the show. He's got a lot, which is weird because he's not even an Avenger. And Avengers don't really get paid, as the Falcon showed, so where is he getting all these jackets from? But regardless, this is one of his jackets. This actual style comes in two colors. There's a blue version and this brown version, which I have right here. So, without further ado, let me get it on. So this is the jacket. It's definitely real leather. Not the easiest to move around in, though, you know, probably would uh, be somewhat protective in a fight as long as they were using pocket knives. But it's got a couple different pockets here. One in the chest, one over towards the side here. It's kind of an interesting design. It's got buckles on the arm. It's got zippers here that you can loosen if you'd like to be a little bit looser in the wrist or you can tighten them up. It is definitely a neat looking jacket. Form fitting, but you know, that's partially me. It does have a clasp on along the belt. Very similar to like motorcycle jackets. It has this interesting clasp here that I'm not sure what it's supposed to do, but it's a neat looking thing. I don't know, maybe he feels more comfortable in a straight jacket. I don't know, he was kind of cuckoo for a while. But yeah, range of motion, you know, it is a little stiff. It is a leather jacket, but it doesn't really move that much when I lift my arms. Of course, if I have to surrender, they want my hands up higher. That's about as far as they go. It also has inside the jacket two inner pockets. Of course, you have to unclasp and unzip in order to get at them. So maybe stuff that uh, you don't want easily accessible, like your wallet walking on a con with all that great stuff. So the inner material is quilted. It's pretty comfortable. As you saw, it kind of clings to the body. Here are the two inner pockets. So again, you can put all kinds of stuff in here that you don't want pickpocketed, like your wallet. Maybe not your phone. Use an outside pocket for that. It does have a hook here for hanging. And uh, I do like the pattern on the shoulders. Well, one shoulder. It's a little bit asymmetrical because of its arm, but again, it's a conversation starter and a good cosplay piece. So this is the back of the jacket. It's kind of plain looking, not all that exciting, but it goes with the pattern. People are hopefully gonna be facing you anyway. So as I mentioned, it has these interesting clasps that don't seem to have much of a purpose. They're very decorative on the right arm. The left arm is like, well, like his mechanical arm that was given to him by the wonderful folks at Wakanda. So you'd probably want to get a glove if you were gonna use this for cosplay reasons, at least a brown glove. Maybe if you could find something with stripes, that would be kind of cool as well. Um, it's an interesting pattern and it looks pretty neat. However, it's not quite as fancy as an actual Winter Soldier arm that I've seen a lot of cosplayers make some really cool stuff with, you know, some kind of hardened foam or 3D printing and all that stuff. That, you know, I leave to the experts. So if you wanted to use this for cosplay instead of just an homage to Bucky Barnes, you could remove the sleeve, go in with maybe a seam ripper or something, if, if you know what you're doing, and remove the sleeve and then put that on. Or you could ask one of the Dora Malaji to just, you know, tap some pattern on your shoulder and maybe the sleeve will fall off. But overall, it's a cool jacket. Again, range of motion isn't the best, but you're not wearing this to actually fight Flag Smashers or anything like that, or Hydra, or go off into space and fight an Infinity War. Nothing like that. So you don't actually have to fight all that much. It is leather, it is a little bit warm, so make sure that you stay hydrated. Make sure that when you go to a con, stick to the air conditioning. It's a dark color, so if you go outside, it's gonna get even warmer. So just be aware of that. But overall, it's not a bad looking jacket, a good, addition to a Bucky cosplay. And again, if you don't want to go with a special arm, if this is good enough, just go ahead and get a glove. Now, currently this is on bossjackets.com. 
for $156, but they have all kinds of sales all the time. If you go there, you might see a coupon code for 35% off. So they have sizes ranging from extra, extra small all the way to like 6XL. So you're pretty much covered no matter what your body type and body size are. I mean, of course, they're standardized sizes, so standardized sizes don't always fit perfectly, but you can probably find something that's close enough and go to a con, go to a party. I wouldn't necessarily go walking around your neighborhood in the heat of summer. It's got this collar just like in the show. Again, there is a blue version, which is neat as well. And again, it has the same pattern. This is not 100% screen accurate. I think he had something else over here on the arm in the show, but it's very minor. Unlikely anyone's gonna notice it. So once you have this on, grab a weapon. Say so you can be the Winter Soldier. Don't have to worry about Zemo hypnotizing you, but uh, watch out, he's quite the dancer. So I have put a link in the description below to bossjackets.com to this particular one. Again, you have your choice of colors, choice of sizes. It's a pretty good deal, even at $156 before you use one of those coupon codes. I do like the quality of their jackets overall. This is actually one of many jackets that I've gotten from this company. Some of them I've actually paid for. So while you're deciding how you wanna make Sam Wilson's life miserable for actually giving up that shield, you might wanna check out these other videos over here. There's a subscribe button down there, social media stuff, all kinds of stuff. Do the, do the like thing, share, you know what to do. We'll see you next time, and as always, have fun and follow your fandom.